Australian avocados can be summed up in one word, delicious. But sometimes they can be disappointing to consumers, thanks to high levels of flesh bruising. Hi, I'm Dr. Melinda Perkins. I'm a horticultural research scientist with the University of Queensland. And this video shows how to reduce flesh bruising in avocado. As you will see, everybody in the supply chain has a role to play, from growers through to retailers and even consumers themselves. Harvesting fruit at the correct stage of maturity is critically important for quality. Fruit with a low dry matter content are more prone to bruising than fruit harvested later in the season when dry matter is higher. For Hass, harvesting should occur when dry matter is at or above the recommended minimum of 23%. Even though fruit generally do not bruise at this stage, they should still be handled carefully. Fruit that are dropped at harvest are more prone to body rots upon ripening. Drop heights during harvest should be kept below 15 centimetres to minimise this risk. Cooling fruit as soon as possible after harvest will help to maintain quality. For Hass fruit, a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius is recommended. It is also important to move fruit through the supply chain as quickly as possible. Storing unripe fruit for just one week at 5 degrees can make them more prone to bruising when they ripen and the problem worsens as storage time increases. Ethylene treatment at the ripener triggers changes in fruit firmness. As the fruits soften, they are more easily bruised. There are many things that we take into account here at Murray Brothers to ensure that we achieve the best possible result for internal quality of avocados in the hands of the consumer. Uh, and that all starts at the receival point and our initial inspection and assessments of, of the product to also gain some understanding of where the product came from, the growing conditions, the timing of the season. All of those things will then have some influence on how we handle the product and the processes that we do to that product, particularly the ripening process post receival. Post uh, ripening, when the fruit is sprung, it's even more crucial to look after that fruit, handle it very carefully, as this is where the possible uh, chance of uh, internal bruising can increase significantly. Avocados are most vulnerable to bruising at the retail stage. Excessive squeezing by shoppers and retail staff causes much of the bruising seen by consumers. Retailers can help minimise bruising by making sure their staff are well trained in handling avocados. Separating ripe from unripe fruit and providing point of sale material will help consumers to make their purchase without excessive handling. Consumers can minimise bruising by limiting the amount of handling when selecting their avocados. They need to handle their avocados as if they were eggs. Avocados are very susceptible to bruising, particularly when they start to soften, and any bump can lead to damage. So to sum up, flesh bruising in avocado can be reduced by harvesting at or above a dry matter of 23%, keeping drop heights below 15 centimetres for unripened fruit, holding fruit at five degrees Celsius wherever possible, moving fruit quickly through the supply chain, separating ripe from unripe fruit in retail displays, providing point of sale signage to help shoppers select fruit, and handling ripe fruit like eggs.